everybody. Welcome back. We're going to do here with the Emperor. Hello, boys and girls. I am the Emperor John Wayne Frankenstein. This is, of course, Emperor John Wayne's freaky flicks. And today, we've got a real stinker for you, starring one of our favorite B-minus actors of all time, Bella Lugosi. Yes, we are doing a, this movie is, was, um, the Emperor was kind enough to do this movie because I requested it. It's a special favorite of mine. And it, there's other good reasons to include it. And that is the movie from 1939 from 20th Century Fox, The Gorilla. Now we've often talked about how a gorilla is truly the classic movie monster or one of the most unrespected um, classic movie monster. A gorilla was a real animal, but I don't think everybody believed it. So whenever they wanted a cool monster, they put the gorilla in. It doesn't behave the way it's supposed to, but it's there. There are so many movies, both serious and humorous, with a gorilla. And we've done this before on the show, or the Emperor has. But now we're doing another version, and this is a horror comedy. It, it's based on a play, uh, loosely, and it's really a vehicle, not for Bela Lugosi, who was put in just for name value, but for the Ritz Brothers, who are a very underrated comedy team. They're best known for doing uh, musical comedy, dancing and singing and comedy, but they're kind of fun to watch. The real star is Harry Ritz, who's a great comedian, a great mugger, and his brothers just follow in his wake. It's a very entertaining movie. It's a lot of fun. Plus, it's got a gorilla, so I hope you enjoy it. So remember, you have to watch this movie. Invite all your friends, because misery loves company. And if we're going to be miserable watching this stinker, you should be too. A movie that's so classic, so cheesy. We have to bring it to you from the cheese capital of the world, Wisconsin. With no further ado, the gorilla! is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Oh, good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Good night, good night. Oh. 
Well, Kitty, what is all this racket about? Ah, oh, he is! Oh, he is! I saw him! I saw him! He's here in this house! He almost killed me! The gorilla! The gorilla! What was all Be for me? Be quiet! Me. You have been dreaming. Oh, no. What's oh, that? Oh, I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't know anything. Call the police! Call Mr. Stevens! He'll kill Be somebody! Be quiet! Can't you? No, I can't! I trust him! He will all be murdered! Mr. Stevens! Mr. Stevens! Are you calling me, Kitty? Oh, Mr. Stevens! We'll all be murdered in our beds! It's that gorilla fellow whose papers are so full of. The killer! He was just up in my room! Oh, no, no, come, come, Kitty, you're hysterical! Oh, no, sir, you're hysterical! I feel him like I said, sir! Now, Kitty, you're imagining things. Just you go back to bed. That's oh. what I said, sir. Only there is this. Gorilla's paw. No! Should I call the police, sir? Police? Yes, yes. Call them right away. Just a minute. I'll handle this my own way. Yes, sir. Only... Only what? I was thinking of the time, sir. Time? According to the newspapers, the gorilla gives his victim only 24 hours' notice. <laughs> Oh. Oh, nonsense. Now, you go back to bed and don't worry about this. Back to bed? Who, me? Oh, don't go back to bed. I'm not particularly interested where you go. Oh, but Mr. Stevens! Oh, yes, but... I... Hello. Oh, now, come, please. Just a minute. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Yeah, but... I wouldn't be frightened like that if I were you, Kitty. Look, you'll be frightened any way you want. This is my way. Hello. I begged you not to telephone me here. Yes, I know I promised, but you gave me until Monday. Saturday? Tomorrow? That's impossible. I can't possibly raise that amount of money. Yes, I know I owe it to you, but a quarter of a million dollars be reasonable. Now, please be patient. I have a plan. But it's only just started. Give me time to work it out and I'll repay you dollar for dollar. Hello. Radiogram, please. To whom is the radiogram going, please? Miss Norma Denby. Diaz in Denver. Aboard SS Paris. Regret unable to meet you at boat. Vitally important that I see you at my home tomorrow evening without fail. Sign it fondly, Uncle Walter. Read that back, please. Norma Denby. Mr. Stevens is expecting you, Miss Denby. May I take your coat? Oh, no, thank you. I'll keep it on. Nice, cozy little place your uncle has here. He likes it. He had to live in it. This way, please. Well, if it isn't the prodigal niece. Oh, it's swell seeing you again, darling. Hey, good to see you again, too, dear. I took the liberty of bringing along my conquest. Good, I'm glad you did. This is Jack, Uncle Walter. <laughs> this niece of mine isn't much of a correspondent. What few letters she did write, though, were full of you. Congratulations, young man. Thank you, and I hope you'll excuse me for barging in like this. Nonsense, I'm delighted. I was more than pleasantly surprised to hear that you set your marriage for June. 
Do you realize it's only a month away? Well, we decided we didn't want to rush things too much, so... So, we put it off until... <laughs> the day after tomorrow. <laughs> the day after tomorrow? Does that startle you? Why... Why, no, no, that's fine. That's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. <clears throat> but I'm forgetting my role as host. Sit down, my dear, sit down. We may as well come to the point. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Norma alone, Mr. Stevens. Oh, no, no, not, a, not at all. As Norma's future husband, what I have to say concerns you, too. Now, as Norma knows, she and I were named joint heirs under the terms of her father's will. And uh, until she marries, I'm the executor of her estate. But should anything happen to either of us, why then uh, the survivor inherits the entire estate. And I think that you, Norma, and you, Jack, as her future husband, should know of what that estate consists. To that end, I prepare a record of the estate's holdings. And I want to talk it over with you both after dinner. But your radiogram said there was something urgent. Well, uh, if it hadn't been urgent, I... I wouldn't have sent it. Well, something's worrying you. What is it, Uncle Walter? Well, perhaps I'm unduly alarmed, but... last night I received this note of warning... from the gorilla. The gorilla? You mean that murderer, the one the papers have been so full of? I do. But isn't it possible that this is all just a joke? That someone's playing a prank on you? I wish I could think so. But Uncle Walter, why should he or anyone want to kill you? I don't know. Oh, it's possible that some old enemy of mine, I admit I've made enemies in my day, it's possible that one of them in the spirit of revenge has hired this, this maniac, this professional killer or whatever the gorilla is. This note is exactly like the one that was in the newspapers after he murdered that widow. Still, I can't bring myself to believe it. Of course you've notified the police. No, I haven't. But surely if there was anything in all this... I've taken other precautions. Peters and I are armed. And in addition, I've engaged the services of a private detective agency. Their operative should be here any moment now. Oh. Well, obviously this gorilla is no ordinary murderer at all. And judging by his past, uh, shall we say, uh, successes, it is apparent that the workings of the police were an open book to him. Of course, it's a slim chance that uh, by not notifying the police, we might upset his plans. Ordinarily, I'm not easily frightened, but I must admit this whole affair is giving me the creeps. Well, it's nearly nine o'clock. I suppose you'll freshen up a bit. We'll talk it over after dinner. Well, Kitty, show Miss Dim into the green room and Mr. Marsden to my room. Yes, sir. Don't worry, Uncle Walter. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Stevens. Yes, Kitty? Oh, I know it's customary to give notice. Why, Kitty, you're not trying to tell me you're going to leave me. Oh, no, sir. I'm trying to tell you I have left you. But, Kitty, you're perfectly safe here. Besides, we have guests. You haven't the heart to leave me now. Well, my heart is willing, but I'm going to have an awful time trying to convince the rest of my body. Bet there's a dead body in every room. That body won't hurt you. Can't do you any good. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Who did it? You! Get to the record tonight, Chief. Make a note of that. Uh, keep doing that once in a while. It keeps me on edge and thinking. Right. Now, what do you suppose they want detectives for? I've got an idea. Uh, let's go in and find out. You're terrific. Enjoy the speakeasy. <laughs> Who are you? Me? Why? I'm Peter, sir. Never mind that. Never mind that. What's your name? Peter, sir. Uh, just a minute. Just a minute. Where were you last night? I beg your pardon. Oh, so you did do something. I don't like your looks. What's that got to do with it? This is no beauty contest. <laughs> Who's 
Stevens. I am. I'm Harrigan. I'm Mulligan. I'm Garrity. Harrigan, Mulligan, Garrity. I sent for you because I need protection. My life's been threatened. Now tell me, any clues? One very vital one. This warning from the gorilla. That's well. You've got nothing to worry about. Mark that down, Garrity. Right. How do you spell gorilla? Two R's or two L's? Gorilla, gorilla. G O R G G G O O G O Gorilla. <laughs> did, did you? Did you? Woo, woo, woo. Did you say gorilla? Why, gentlemen, you're not afraid. The whole oh, no, no, we're not afraid. No, we no. just thought maybe. No. We... Thank you. Did gorilla much. come in here? It was nice to have met you, Mr. Stevens. Quiet! Quiet! I am. Uh... I've already taken the precaution of arming my servant and myself. And I think you'll find that every door and window is securely bolted. I couldn't have done better myself. With us on a job, Mr. Stevens, you've got nothing to worry about. What's your plan, Mr. Harrigan? Well, first we'll take a look around the house. Come on, man. Now, you just sit tight, Mr. Stevens. The gorilla will get you over our dead bodies. <laughs> dead bodies. <laughs> Yes, darling? Who are those men? Probably the detectives your uncle hired. Jack, I'm terribly worried. What are we going to do? Well, it seems there isn't anything we can do yet. Listen, darling, it isn't that I'm trying to appear skeptical. It's just that, well, somehow I can't make myself believe all this. But that note, you saw the note. Of course I did, but still I... Look, darling, we'll wait. We'll wait and see if something really does happen. But what if it does? I just don't believe it will. Jack. Excuse me, sir. I tried to put your car away, but unfortunately, there's something wrong with it. What do you mean? It won't start. Excuse me, sir. Gives me the creeps. He doesn't exactly give me an appetite either. I wouldn't let him worry me if I were you. Honestly, darling, don't you think there's any cause for alarm? I'm afraid I don't. Oh, there you are. Are the sherry before dinner? Thank you, no. that butler? Not very long. Why? Well, are you sure he's all right? I found him so. Why? Well, because I... Dinner is served, sir. Oh. Shall we go in? <laughs> You'd better drink a little of that, Kitty. It'll quiet your nerves. Why? Can you hear them? Oh, here, take it. What my nerves really need is a good long trip. Where were you last night? Me? Why, I... Uh... Answer yes or no. I was... What I were you doing there? Doing where? Well, how do we know? Besides, I don't like your looks. Did you ever take a good look at your son? Yeah, yeah did you ever did take you... a look? Hey, yeah, now, wait a minute, you. Where were you last night? I spent the night with Shakespeare. Yeah? Where is he? He's dead. Dead? dead? A murder mystery. Oh, Have you any idea who did it? Look, Shakespeare's been dead hundreds of years. Hundreds of... This is a fine time to call us in on the case. Say, but she couldn't have done it. How do you know? She can't be hundreds of years old. That's right. Mark that down, Garrity. Yeah, what do we do now, Chief? Well, you two have a look out there. I'll look here. Yeah. Uh. What's this? That's a door. It leads to the back stairs. Back stairs? Well, remind me to have a look up there sometime. On the board. Look, do you want this thing? Certainly we want it. What do you think we are going on? Yeah, well, I see. 
Well, here, take it! Harrigan! 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 Come in here! We found it! You found what? The mystery. Well, that's hash. Ain't that a mystery? Some pretty good tightly, Chief. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. I'm afraid, gentlemen, you won't find the gorilla in there. Why will we not find the gorilla in there? Now listen, you! I... Let that be a lesson to you. Perhaps you gentlemen had better look outside for clues. Maybe he killed Shakespeare. Uh, mark that down, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> look. How do you get out of here? That's what I'd like to know. And where's the back door? In back of you. In back of me. Oh. Oh. In back of me. Oh. Don't you recall that the paper said the gorilla always sends a warning to as many as half a dozen people at the same time? To sort of throw the police off. Maybe that's what he's doing now. Perhaps it's just a ruse. Well, let's hope so. You know, it's wonderful how much more optimistic a good dinner can make one feel. <laughs> Shall we have liqueurs in the study? Look here. It seems to have been thrown in through that window. Oh, Uncle Walter, what are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do, or rather Jack is going to do, is to take you away from here. Well, you're coming with us. Ah! It's him! It's him! Uncle Walter! Who is it? It's all right, he's one of those detectives. <laughs> he did give me a turn. Did you see that face? I bet when he gets drunk, snakes see him. What's the matter with you scaring us half to death? I'm just trying to let you know I'm not the gorilla. This is my niece, Miss Dimby, and her fiance, Mr. Marsden. Harrigan, Mulligan, and Garrity. Thank you, sir. This battle seems to be much more serious than I thought. I've just received this from the gorilla. A note. Who brought it? No one brought it. We threw me through that window. Through that window? <laughs> through that window. He's right. Wait a minute. This is my good ear. Oh, say, that's right. You can't kid us. We were outside patrolling the grounds. What do you mean? Why, that note couldn't have come through that window. But why not? Well, I'll just show you. Stand back, man. That's why. But it was wrapped around a stone. A stone? A, a stone? Well, why didn't you say so? Anyway, what do you know about this thing? Well, I don't know anything about it. We were preparing to leave the room, and suddenly the lights went out, and then there was a crash, and... Oh, so the lights went out. <laughs> Make a note of that, Garrity. Right. You were outside a few minutes ago. Didn't you see anybody? Nobody but us. Say, this note says at midnight. At midnight? Yeah. What time is it now? It's 10.30. I got 11.10. I got 11.30. It's exactly 11.45. Remind me to put some hands on this watch. Yes. Well, make a note of that, Garrity. Right. Now, look, the gorilla's after Stevens. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Everybody into the study. Come on, let's go. Uh, who said that if you give a criminal enough rope, he'll hang himself? You, Chief. Oh, that's where I heard it before. Yeah, come on. <laughs>
are all here. I don't want anybody to move. Understand? Is it all right if I breathe? Yes, but come right back. Quiet! Personally, I don't believe the gorilla's coming here. Neither do I. Why not? I'll give you three good reasons, pal. Harrigan, Mulligan, and Garrity. It ain't enough. <laughs> now, look here! I don't, don't want to have your looks. Yeah, no. you wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll handle this. Yeah, but you always listen to me. You. You. <laughs> you have received the gorilla's warning, Walter Stevens. You've just five minutes to live. Oh, Uncle Walter. Jack. Excuse me. <laughs> now, where are you going? I'm getting out of here. There's no door there. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll make one. Goodbye. Oh, get him over there. Quiet! Quiet, everybody! <laughs> I wish I didn't. He's up there, man. Where are you going? I said he's up there. That's what I thought you said. Oh, quiet. All right, man. Follow me. Stick him up. I got you covered. Nothing, nothing at all. Hey, did you just pass here? Yes. Yes, of course. I brought a trunk down from the attic. A trunk? Yes. Were we here? I couldn't say. <clears throat> well... Maybe we're not here now. Maybe. Maybe. It's two minutes of twelve. What about Uncle Walter? Uncle Walter, yes. Uncle Walter, we Uncle. We're just yeah. going in. We'll... Now, everybody! Stay just where you are. Mulligan, you watch those doors. Gary, you watch that one. Mrs. Stevens, you've got, good, 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 got nothing to worry about. I wish I thought so. Me too. <laughs> You have one more minute, Walter Stevens. I can't. You've got to call the police. You've got to. Mr. Stevens, I'm sorry, but Norma's right. I don't know what this is all about, but certainly if there's something to it, the police ought to know about it. I no longer know what to think. Perhaps you'd better. Hello? Hello? Phone, oh, there's something wrong with you. Now for the break. And for the break, it is time for the Everclear. And some trivia. Everclear mm. takes priority, of course, because you did include Everclear, the Emperor will revolt. And we don't want any revolt. He's more revolting as it is. We don't want him revolting more than he already is. But anyway, I want to give some cool trivia, or I think is cool trivia about this movie. This movie is in the public domain. And so because of that, it's probably the most widely seen movie the Ritz Brothers ever made. But they actually hated it. They weren't happy. When they first came to Fox, they were put in some big musicals and were hoping to become big stars. But this was considered a B movie. And because it was a B movie, that was considered a step down. They were so unhappy about it, they ended up leaving Fox because they didn't want to do any more. And what did they do? They went to Universal. Now, not that that's bad, 
But Universal already had Abbott and Costello. They didn't need um, the Ritz brothers. So that was bad career move. But nevertheless, the ironic part is the Ritz, this movie is probably the most widely seen one the Ritz brothers ever appeared in. We hope you enjoy it. We hope you continue to enjoy it. And now let's have some words of wisdom from the emperor. All I can say is that now you know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. How did you get in here? Why, through this door, sir. How can you when the doors are locked? I beg your pardon, it was not locked. I locked it myself. It is locked. That leaves us deadlocked. It would be impossible for me to walk through the woodwork. Why? Termites do. Oh, this isn't getting us anywhere. Now leave everything to me. The gorilla ain't gonna make a monkey out of me. <laughs> now you. <laughs> Come on, boys. What do these stairs lead to? To the bedrooms. Mommy and Carrie, you have a look upstairs. Mars, if you come with me, we'll have a look around the grounds. You two look in the servants' wing. With the gorilla prowling around, not me. Well, all right, then come with me. Oh, never mind. I'll take my chances with the other gorilla. Wait, wait a minute. We can't leave Miss Denby here alone. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't know, but I wish I could think of something. Me too. I'll go on. Don't worry, darling. Oh, that's all right. I'll do all the worrying. Marsden, come with me. Oh, uh, you first, sir. Thank you very much. Why couldn't this have all happened tomorrow? What difference would that make? Tomorrow's my day off. Poor Uncle Walter. Right from under our very eyes. I don't understand how he got out of here. All that's worrying me is how I'm going to get out of here. Oh. Ah! Get him, Mulligan. You heard him, Garrity. What did he say? Are you sure it wasn't an hallucination? Not unless an hallucination has hair on it. Come on. Now, ready? Yeah, just. Ah! Oh! Is, is he dead? Who is he? I've never seen him before. Do you know him? No, sir, and this is no time for no introductions. He's not dead. Yeah, mark that down, too. Right. Come on, darling, we're getting out of here. I'm afraid now, too, for you. Yeah, I'm afraid now, too, for me. Oh, Jack, it's horrible. I don't know what to make of it. Now, all I can say, the gorilla's around here somewhere. And I know Mr. Stevens is around here somewhere. And if you all look, we'll find him somewhere. Oh. Where are you going? Somewhere. Uh, all right, men, take him upstairs. Come on, Garrity. You, lead the way. I'll take care of him. Kitty, get a basin of hot water. Do you mind if I go out of town to get it? You and I have a look around the house. Wait a minute. There's something funny about this. Kitty said she saw the gorilla's arm. We open the closet and find the sailor's body. Now, how did the body get in there? And how did the gorilla get out without our seeing him? That's just what I was about to ask you. Stevens was sitting right here in this chair until the lights went out. You, gorilla. La la. <laughs> That's funny. What's funny? Nothing. I think I'll have a look around this house. Have a look around the house? Yes, we'll have, have a look around the house. Yeah. I'll go too. Hey, that guy won't talk. Why not? He's still unconscious. You're unconscious and you talk. <laughs> That's great, Chief. Mark that down, Garrity. Right. What do we do now? Well, first we'll have to reenact the crime. Well, how do we do that? Now, let's see. When the lights went out, Stevens was sitting in that chair. Yeah. You're Stevens. Sit down. I'm Stevens. Mulligan, close the doors. Hey, I'm Garrity. You're Stevens. Now, sit down. I'll wait for lights. One, two, three. That's ah, no use. I don't know what works for Sherlock Holmes. I don't know why it went. No wait for me. I'm... That's what I've been trying to tell you. He's gone. Is he gone? Gone. Garrity! Garrity! Now we have two mysteries to solve. Look, I've got an idea. What is it? If we can find out how Garrity disappeared, we'll find out what happened to Stevens. It's a very good idea. Should have thought of that myself. All right, we'll reenact the crime. Sit down. But I'm not tired. You have to be tired to sit down? I do. 
You make me tired. Well, then, why don't you sit down? If I sit down, who's going to work the lights? I never thought of that. Yeah, well, sit down. Yeah, sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Oh, sir, One, two, 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 three. Mulligan! Whoop! Mulligan! Did you lose something? Yes, Mulligan and Gary. Make it over there. Now, look. Sit down. Oh, I don't want to sit down. You don't have to want to. You'll sit down and like it. Well, all right. I'll sit down, but I won't like it. Yep. What are you going to do? What I'm going to do ain't important. Well, what am I going to do? That's just what I want to find out. <laughs> One. Two, 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 three. Did I hear somebody scream? Well, if you didn't, you ought to have your ears cleaned out. Say, where's Mr. Harrigan? The detective! He's disappeared! Disappeared? What a pity. Pity? Why, it's entirely... The... How did you get in here? Why, you... Oh! Oh! But don't be frightened. You're safe with me. Safe with you, my eye. Who wants to be safe? We... Now, look. I'm very sociable. I want to go where there's people. What's the matter? What's happened? Well, look. I'm standing here. When all of a sudden, everything goes black. Next thing I know, I'm here. That's funny. <laughs> Hello. Hello, I'm, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. No, no, you turn on Willow Drive. Off Highway 22 and hurry, will you? Thank you. Look, it ain't human, I tell you. It ain't human. Uh, what isn't human? For a guy to be standing here one minute, and the next minute, he's gone. Who's gone? I'm gone. They're gone. Everybody's gone. It don't make sense. It certainly doesn't. Will you have a cigarette? I don't mind if I do. The kid has me right from under his very eyes. Who does? The gorilla! Hey. Who are you? What do you want? What are you doing here? Listen, old man, you got me all wrong. I, I just came in to use the telephone. You see, my car broke down. That phone? Yeah. Look, that phone is out of order. Is it? Yes. Number, please. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Now, wait a minute, you. You're the guy we're looking for. You're the gorilla. Surely you don't think I'm the gorilla, do you? I stopped thinking two hours ago. But you don't understand. I don't have to understand. Shall I try it? Oh, uh, you've tried enough. Now get him up. Listen, you're making a big mistake. Uh, well, it won't be the first time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right. All right, I got you coming. Help! Okay, shake him up. Shake him up. Oh. Oh, help! Help! Oh, help! Oh, 
Terrible. The gorilla. The gorilla. How'd you get all tied up like this? The gorilla. I tell you, it wasn't my fault. He came in and hit me. It was... Did I leave him in there? Oh. Oh. Well, I'm Stevens. I'm Harry. Here, here. Wait a minute. How'd you fellas get in there? You tell me. What are you doing with those things on? Oh, look. The fellow walks right in. It was the gorilla, I tell you. Yeah? He's got to use that phone. But he didn't get very far. Not with me on the job. Lucky uh, thing for him, you had your handcuffs with yeah. you. Well, where is he? Where'd he go? Where is he? I'm the victim. How should I know? Look, boys, I'm telling you, he walked in. Six of them. Six big gorillas. They attacked me. Hit me right on my crawl, though. Look at that lump. Yeah, look, look at, at this lump. Look. Yes, right there. Awful. These windows are locked from the inside. You're not kidding. Kidding? With the gorilla right under my nose and a $10,000 reward, he says I'm kidding. Well, are you? Who belongs to this? What is it? A coat. Why, gorillas don't wear coats. Sure they do. Fur coats. There's something screwy about all this. Look, if there's anything screwy about this, it's me. It's me! But I'll soon find out. Each of you grab a wall. What do we do with it? Mulligan, you take that one. Uh, Marsden, you take that one. I'll take that one. I'll set this one out. You'll set nothing out. Grab a wall! Take it easy. All right, now tap, each one of you. See if you can find some trap doors. Yeah. Oh, must be out there. Come on, man. Right out here. All right, cover the door, man. What's the matter with all of you? Are you deaf? I've been pounding on that door for the last ten minutes. Who are you? That's right. Who are you? Never mind who I am. I want to know where Walter Stevens is. Oh, you want to know where Mr. Stevens is, eh? <laughs> he wants to know where Walter Stevens is. Who do you think we're looking for? I didn't come here to play games. I want to see Walter Stevens and want to see him right now. But you don't understand. These gentlemen are detectives. Detectives? Bah! What are you trying to pull on me? I talked to Stevens on the telephone last night. He told me he had a plan to pay his debt. Plan? Yes, yeah, said he'd only just started working on it. But did he tell you what this plan is? I wasn't interested. He was to square up with me here tonight. When I talked to him, he wanted a couple of days more to raise the money that he owes me. Now, where is he? Well, Mr. Stevens has been kidnapped by the gorilla. Kidnapped by Poppycock. Now, look here. I don't know who any of you are, but I do know this. Walter Stevens owes me $250,000. <laughs> And I'm going to collect it tonight, or else. Oh, no, Wait, you don't, don't buddy. How do we know you're... Say, who are you, anyway? I'm one of Stevens' clients. I have proof that Stevens has been stealing from his clients' accounts for over a year. I gave him until tonight to return my money. And I'm not going to leave this house until I get it. Yeah, but wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I think he's mad. Jack, if what that man says is true, I... I don't believe Uncle Walter could... It's almost impossible to know what to believe, darling. Yet things are adding up. If your uncle did have a plan, if this business of sending for you was part of the plan, I... Take her upstairs and keep an eye on her. This has gone far enough. It's gone too far. It's even gone further than that. Uh, I'll be all right. It's just too much excitement for one night. Get your hat and coat, darling. I'm going to see that you get to town if I have to push the car all the way myself. I can't go till we find Uncle Walter. We'll take care of that. We'll break this case, won't we, boys? Well, won't we? Oh, sure we will, sure. Like it was walnuts. Yeah. You know, I feel sorry for that poor girl. Yeah? What about poor us? Strange men zooming in and out, animals running around like this was a zoo. Crazy goings on. I want to go home. Oh, so you want to go home? I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you! Do you want to take a run out part and leave that girl here to take the blame alone? We're detectives, aren't we? Are we? <laughs> Haven't we looked all over this house? Yes. No. Where haven't we looked? Well, if there's a cellar, we haven't looked there. I'm glad I thought of that. Say, this looks like a cellar. What? It's locked. Well, turn the key. Oh, yes, never thought of that. All right, come on, man. Stop. 
Anybody down there? Uh, yes, we are. I'll look for a switch. It's around here somewhere. All right, come on out of there, you. Come on, get out of there. All right, come on out of there. All right, come on out of there. Mulligan, where are you? I'm right here, Chief. Uh, Garrity, where are you? Over here, Chief. Is anybody with me? No, you're alone. First time I saw a mouse trap catch a piece of cheese. <laughs> Harrigan! Charity! Come here and get me out of this! Get me out of this thing! What? Maybe you'd like a rat? Oh, come, come on, Jack! What are baby. you doing? I'm not behind you, Tim. You're out of me! Charity! Harrigan! Charity! Harrigan! Go away! Now, don't worry, I'll handle this. It's a pleasure. Well, don't worry about it. Mm. Okay, buddy. Mm. Come on, bud, get that raccoon coat off. Mm. Come on, get that mm. thing off. Mm. Look, when I hit you over the head mm. with this thing. Mm. Well, <laughs> he, we've been double-crossed. Oh. 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 No! Peters? Yes, sir? It's all that commotion. Sounds like our friends, the detectives. You stay here with Miss Denby. I'll go see what's up. Cognac, Miss Demby? No. No, thank you. Have you men been drinking? No, but it's a good idea. So did you. Yeah, well, never mind that. You take the hall. I'll go this way. Uh, I'll stay here. Is something wrong? Well, where were you? I just went to get some tea, sir. Didn't I tell you to stay here with Miss Denby? I'm very sorry, sir, but I thought perhaps a little tea. What right do you got to think? We're not even thinking. Miss Denby might have been killed. It's uh, fortunate she wasn't, sir. Why is it that something always happens when you're not here? An unfortunate coincidence, sir. What did you find? An empty closet with Harrigan in it. Oh. 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 Harrigan, 
Harry, it's Harry. Wake up. Get up. Wake up. Zagarello, Zagarello. Did you get him? Did you get him? No, he got you. Well, it won't happen again. Okay, man. Follow me. Okay. Okay. Follow me. Get down and see where these stairs lead to. Who, oh, me? Who, oh, me? Yes, you. Oh, me. It's awful dark. I should have brung my glasses. Yeah, you never wear any glasses. That's right. I forgot. Yeah. What's that funny tapping? Yeah. It's my knees. It's a fine time to be scared. You try and think of a better time. Yeah, well... Who's a mug? You fellas, stick close behind me. If anything happens, leave it to me. I'll do all the talking. Come on, man. People running in here out of day, all day long. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. First, man, where are you going? <laughs> What's eating you? What? That dame must know something, or she wouldn't be running away like that. Make a note of that, Gertie. Good evening. Good evening. Ah! What do you want? Don't be frightened. Frightened? Who's frightened? Oh, don't you come near me or I'll wrap this thing around your neck like it was a pretzel. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, that's what you think. May I give you some advice? No. If I were you, I'd go to my room and stay there. Oh, yes, sir. I was just planning on that. Wait a minute. Where have you been? No place. Honest, sir. I was just getting ready to go to town. Good. Why not? The gorilla! He's in there! Don't be silly. Oh. Come on, Al. Get going. Yes, sir. I'm practically there. It's a gorilla. We saw it and we felt it. When I tell you the gorilla is a man, I ought to know. I've read enough about him. But how could a monkey have possibly written those notes, Uncle Walter? Maybe it's got an education. Oh! 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 Where is he? Have any of you seen him? Who? Poe. Who's Poe? Poe's the gorilla. The gorilla? Oh, you know him too, huh? No, him. I trained him since he was that high. You're just the one we're looking for. Don't any of you understand? Poe is a gorilla. A trained gorilla. A real gorilla? Sure, a real gorilla. Uh, so we don't know what we're talking about, eh? Yeah, we know a monkey when we see one. Listen, this is serious. Poe ain't no pet. There's no telling what he's liable to do when I ain't around. Especially with women. He hates women. Well, what's he doing here? What are you doing here? We was hired to come here. We're working at the county fair. Yesterday, a guy comes along, says he wants me to bring Poe here. He says he's giving a party, wants us to put on a act. Who hired you? I don't know. I don't know nothing. All I know is I bring Poe here, we're waiting out in the garage like he tells me. Waiting to do our stuff. All of a sudden, somebody gives me a clunk over the head, and I wake up in a lady's boudoir. But the gorilla, how did he get loose? You're asking me. That's what I want to find out. Listen, this is serious. We got to find him. We got us. Somebody's liable to get killed. Them notes from the gorilla. If I will get you 50, they were addressed to me. Notes? 
Poe can't write no notes. Even I don't know how to write. Now, look, the next time I buck up against that gorilla, I'm telling you, I'll hit, I'll, well, <laughs> I'll, you'll never know. He'll listen, do it. Listen, have you seen him? Yes, he's in the kitchen. Which way is the kitchen? Through the panel. We'll go with you. Listen, you fellas better wait here. There's no telling what that ape will do. Oh, Jack, I'm so confused. A real gorilla and those notes and... Listen to me, everybody. The gorilla has done his work. Walter Stevens is dead. You will find his body in the garage. Oh, Jack. All right, everybody. Follow me to the garage. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's gone. Paul's gone. I tell you, he's in the kitchen. The kitchen's a wreck. He must be on a rampage. Out of my way, brother. I got my own troubles to worry about. All right, all of you, out in the garage. Come on. Uh, I'll stay here and protect Miss Denby. This way, please. I'll never forgive myself for not calling the police. Why call the police with us around, lady? You couldn't save Uncle Walter. We couldn't, eh? Well, you didn't, did you? Well, we... Uh, that's right, we didn't. I gotta find out how that gorilla gets in and out of here. There must be a secret spring around here someplace. I think I'll look in the back of these books. I think this was a trick to get us out of the house. Come on. Who are you anyway? I'm the gorilla's keeper. Are you the dame giving a crunk on the head? No, but it's a good idea. Oh, yeah? Thank you, thank you. Oh, he hit me again. Right here, he hit. Oh! Oh! Let him alone! Oh. That 
That's a fine way to treat me. After I give you the best years of my life, you act like that. Listen here. No, no, no kisses. He might have killed somebody. What do you mean, might have? Uh. It's all right, lady. I got him. You can keep him. Okay, scram and take this character with you. I was only kidding. Just for that, he gets no C A N D Y. Oh, that's just C A N D Y. Sorry if I cause you any trouble, folks. And just for that, I don't read you the funny papers tonight. I'll put you in bed without any supper, you bad boy. Hello. You wait till I get you home. You have to wait till last of this. Go on. Look at that. Why, it's somebody's coat. All right, come on out of there, buddy. So that's how I got clunked on the head. Come on, come on out of there, you. All right, come on. Look, it's opening. What? Come on, come on, but... Oh, so it's you. Do you know him? Do I know him? He's the guy I caught using the telephone. There's no law against that. Never mind law, buddy. Get him up. Now, just a minute. Don't you think you're a little premature? Premature? Well, I can't remember that far back. Just who are you? I'm Detective Coletti, an investigator for the Securities and Exchange Commission. And I'm on the trail of the gorilla just as you are. A detective? How do we know that? Yes, we... <clears throat> well, uh, uh, what were you doing in there? Investigating. I've been on this case for some weeks now. And I've discovered a little about the construction of this house that my good friend here don't seem to have found out yet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? This house is a maze of secret panels. Now, undoubtedly, the voice of the gorilla came through that radio from someplace right in this house. That means that if we find the wire leading away from the radio... We'd at least find the gorilla's hideout. Say, what's going on here? Well, here it is. Here's the wire going right in here. It's fine. Now, let's... Uh-huh. Just as I thought. Here's the wire. Now, by tracing this, I think we may find the answer to this entire riddle. The wire goes in here. Back of this wall is the man we want. Yeah, we'll make a note of that, Garrett. Oh. Are you all armed? Yes, I'm armed. Shh, quiet, you. Here it is. There is your microphone, and as I expected, there is your gorilla. Mr. Stevens, the gorilla? Well, uh, sure, I could have told you that all the time. I guess the party is over, my gorilla friend. Yeah, but who tied him up like that? I don't know. He figured the game was up and that this would throw off suspicion. This is a homemade job. A child could have done it. Ah, oh, it's preposterous. Don't believe him. I never saw this man before in my life. It's insane. Oh, now what's that? Oh, why is it with all the men in the house they have to leave us here with you? Quiet. Oh. Alias the gorilla. The gorilla? Him? Oh, I'll never trust another man if I live to be a thousand. You can make that two thousand. Uncle Walter the gorilla. I don't believe it. I think I can make it very clear. Oh, uh, sure we can. Now, first of all, what's that? Oh, I didn't hear a thing. Neither did I, but what was it? We'll soon find out. Hey, what is this? Who hit me? What's going on around here? It's that man again. Oh, there you are. Kidnapped. Kidnapped by the gorilla. Not kidnapped by the gorilla, Mr. Conway. A.P. Conway. Uh, the A.P. stands for ape. Mr. Conway, this gentleman is the gorilla. The gorilla? But if Uncle Walt is the gorilla, I don't understand why he should send himself those notes of warning. For two reasons. To keep you here and to throw off suspicion from himself. Miss Denby, under the terms of your father's will, if anything were to happen to you, who would inherit your estate? Uncle Walter. My hunch was right. Your uncle brought you here tonight to kill you for your money. Well, at least he had a reason. So that's why he wouldn't let us call the police. That's exactly why. But what about these men, these private detectives? <laughs> they almost speak for themselves. Do you think if Stephen's life had actually been threatened, he would have called in three morons such as these for protection? <laughs> for protection? Morons? <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. I resent that. But I tell you, I saw the gorilla right there in that closet. I saw his hand and his arm, and it was no optical confusion. What you saw was this sleeve. Another ingenious little invention of Mr. Stevens. Mm, very cute little idea. Hmm. Well, 
And that about clears the whole matter out. And since it stopped raining, I think I'd better go. <laughs> you're okay, well, you're buddy. Okay. Yeah, he's all right. Congratulations. Yeah. Let me congratulate you. You were wonderful. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you don't, buddy. Okay, folks. Say howdy to the gorilla. Howdy. All right, give out. Or well, this moron is going to blow your brains out. Well, you see, it was all that. Oh, oh. Now, all of you stick your hands up. I'm the gorilla, all right. But the cops haven't been able to get me, so don't you halfwits get any crazy notions. And as for Mr. Stevens, he's just as crooked as I told you he was. The trouble with him is he talks too much and too loud. I got tipped off on what was going to happen here tonight. How he was going to pretend to be me. I was going to get the $250,000 and at the same time let him get the blame for all the girl murders. Well, you better be careful. I'm a little nervous tonight. Drop that gun. And I advise you not to move. Hello. Police station, quickly. What is this? I thought the phone was out of order. Maybe he paid his bill. Hello? This is Walter Stevens speaking. Send a squad car to my house. We've got the gorilla. Things are so mixed up around here that even the gorilla doesn't know who the gorilla is. He's the gorilla, he's the gorilla. Do I know what I'm doing? Look, what's going on here? <laughs> Don't look so sad, darling. Your uncle isn't a crook. And our estate's all safe and sound now. <laughs> you know, you never can tell. This is liable to wind up to be a mystery. You see, the gorilla murders were threatening to bank up our insurance company. Most of the victims were clients of ours. So Conway, our special investigator, cooked up his little scheme to trap the killer. I'm sorry I had to frighten you, dear. And you too, Kitty. Oh, I wasn't frightened. I was numb. You fellas are certainly great detectives. Dude. Oh, yeah. So we could have told you that. Did you know that Cluddy was the gorilla all along? Oh, sure, sure we did. did. No, we didn't. Huh? When did you find out he was the gorilla? When I shook hands with him. I don't get you. Well, you see, I was a window trimmer in a department store. And I ought to know a phony feel when I feel one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never be able to thank you, Mr. Harrigan. Oh, well, that's all right. I understand you two are getting married soon. Well, if you call tomorrow soon. Well, remember, if you have any trouble with her, <laughs> our specialty is following wives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know where to send the check? And uh, be sure it's certified. <laughs> From a competitive bank. <laughs> Well, boys and girls, that was the gorilla. And once again, the gorilla, sadly, is no one as impressive as our own favorite gorilla, Darwin, who we miss dearly. Yes, we hope to see Darwin very, very soon. Hint, 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 hint. Yes, we would love for Darwin to appear to join us while we do some more ape mo classic movies. Yeah. But in any case, this has been the Ritz Brothers, the Gorilla, starring Bella Lugosi. Yeah. Poor name value. In any case, make sure you like and share and comment to help us in Dirty Greek Media get more views and sponsorships. Until next time. Get drunk. Yes. Remember, never clear is forever.